All right, all right, all right, everyone. Welcome back to Running Through Wonderland, a mutual aid marathon benefiting the gender-affirming surgeries of Alice at Wonderland Games. My name is Quacksilver, and we are in a brand new kind of punk block. It's punks of all different shapes and sizes. We've got Kirby, we've got It Takes Two, we've got Gungeon. These are all punks in my mind. I will not hear a word to the contrary. But to kick us off, uh, with a boss endurance mode incentive very much on the line, y'all, we just have $120 left to raise over the course of this next run. Let me give the stage to the one and only Beam Queen Soul running all goal games in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Soul, take it away. Yes, hello. Good, good, good afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in. So this, this is Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, and it's a bit of a weird category, but it's a very fun one. I'm Beam Queen Soul, and with me on the uh, virtual couch, so to speak, is TG. If you'd like to go ahead and introduce yourself. It's a very nice, comfy couch, by the way. Yeah, I'm TG. Um, this is probably my favorite Kirby and the Amazing Mirror speedrun category outside of the main categories. And it's really cool that I think this is the first time I'm aware of that we're really featuring a category extension run from Kirby the Amazing Mirror in any sort of marathon. So all of you watching today and uh, watching along at home are in for a treat. Yeah, so the, the short version, we had, there's like a whole thing with like mirror shards and making a door in. Yeah, we're not going to do any of that. <laughs> Don't need it. Not important. Anyways, so I'm going to start when I hit one player. So in three, two, one, go. And we have our little introduction. Uh, TG, if you'd like to kind of explain yeah. what's about to happen here. <laughs> so regardless of what category you're playing, you will start out Kirby and the Amazing Mirror in this short little introduction section. And we're going to go off with a bang here with two quick tricks. The first one is Gate Skip. There's a button coming up here, which Soul is just going to barely nudge, sprint through. A nicely timed jump will get us right underneath the opening door. So we don't have to call our Kirby friends in order to hold the button down for us. And now we're going to set up the first mix of the run. Nice work! So, swinging yourself into that Cupid enemy puts it into position where you can inhale both the Sword Knight and the Cupid. And when you have two enemies that offer abilities in your mouth at once and you swallow, you will bring up what's called a Mix Roulette. And this roulette is not randomized. The starting position is the same depending on the ability of the enemy that enters your mouth first, which in this case is that Sword Knight. So all Soul had to do was a specific timing to get Wheel, which is going to be our workhorse ability of this run. And uh, what an interesting run we have for you today, because normally in Kirby the Amazing Mirror, for the any percent run, all we need to do is beeline it for all eight bosses of the game, collect their mirror shards, rebuild the central mirror in the hub, and beat Dark Mind and uh, finish the game. But we're not interested in doing that. We're doing a category extension where we have to go through all 16 goal games that are featured in dead ends all over the overworld. So getting to the credits is not mandatory for this run. And now you might be thinking, aren't the goal games randomized? That's when you go hop on a warp star and you uh, go collect like one ups and tomatoes and all the stuff gets thrown at you. And you know, you just sort of return anticlimatically to the hub. But each of the goal games in this game are not randomized, and then they're the same length all the time. And nice work on defeating Mr. Flosty there. A nice double star setup, followed by three additional wheel hits. Finishes it off. Could, could have been better uh, with. I would have liked not hitting the uh, hitting him as he went down, but that's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So one of the best ways to judge how good a non-standard speedrun category is from the main any percent hundred percent is what does it feature that you don't do in any of the speedruns and what i love about all goal games is that it takes out a lot of the annoying parts of speedrunning this game normally kirby and the amazing mirror has some notorious mini or uh, boss luck here i'll hold off in a moment because no we're not gonna yeah grab a stone here because we don't need to beat the bosses in this category we're just going to quickly hold l we're going to hold on to wheel and we're going to go get ourselves our first goal mirror but um 
yeah, you don't have to fight the bosses, which are a notorious, gigantic luck fest. Here's a quick, sweet trick. So that is a droppy. That's an enemy that steals your ability. And we want wheel. Wheel is fast and cool and sexy. So we're going to have the droppy hold on to our ability and press the R button by accident. No! That was unfortunate. Oh, That's no. That's fine. We're just gonna, uh, re gonna re-show show that again. It's all good. Oh man! So thankfully, there's a wheel of enemy right here that uh, Soul can quickly grab as a. And I and I could actually do the upper strat thanks to seeing Yellow being actually nice for once. So here, here's oh, the so upper way we, we can do it. <laughs> okay. So that I was talking earlier about judging category extension runs based on the stuff that they do that other categories don't, and that trick is not used in any other run. The, having the droppy grab hold of your wheel, get cutter to cut the rope, and then re-grab wheel again. That is just one of the many things in this run that you don't do in uh, any regular Amazing Mirror speed run. Uh, in addition, there's a couple of rooms that you don't even do in 100%. Uh, for 100%, you need to go enter a room and then you can immediately leave for map percentage. But since we actually have to complete the goal mirror rooms in order to get to the goal mirrors themselves, uh, we end up doing movement and rooms that you, again, don't do in any other run. So there's a lot of really cool things about this run. Yeah, that's it. It would have been nice if I had gone that first try and not managed to accidentally hit L. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, you really did stick the landing on that, uh, the, the droppy copy, if you will. Uh, there's Boxy. Boxy is going to be a familiar foe in this run. Boxy, just for some reason or another, tends to guard a lot of the goal mirrors in this game. I think we fight everyone, every one of them in the game except for one. So I hope you like that fight. Yeah, and most of them are done with wheel, uh, as we do, because again, wheel is fast. Wheel is very wheel quick. Is... <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be doing the majority of this run with wheel. Um, you're going to see a couple of other, other abilities used as uh, they come up. But the reason wheel is so good is the, there's the obvious part here where it's got incredibly fast horizontal speed throughout all of these rooms. And uh, this is one of the few Kirby games where you can actually jump well inside wheel. Uh, a lot of people derisively call this Kirby an amazing wheel because of its over-reliance on the ability in speedrunning. I call uh, it that endearingly, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but like, once you really get good with it, um, you really start to fall in love with this game's very simple uh, movement mechanics. Um, because, again, th because the speed run doesn't do really any bosses outside of some few mini-boss encounters, this category is really an exhibition on just how good your general movement in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror is. And what I mean by that is that there's a lot of ways to do this game slowly. Um, the biggest one of them is called hit lag. When you run into an enemy with wheel here, you might notice that the game sort of pauses for a very, very small amount of time. We're talking three to four frames here. Every single time you collide with an enemy, the game sort of stops and just goes like, pow, 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 and it like, you know, gets, does a slight stutter in order to emphasize just how much you are running over these poor creatures. And that is slow. And even though it might not seem at the time or when you're playing casually that it's really that slow, that slowdown really adds up over the course of, a, of the run. So I want, uh, for eagle-eyed viewers out there, I want you to pay attention to how Soul is moving through these rooms and avoiding enemies to avoid getting, or, you know, avoid racking up as much hit lag as possible. Also, thanks, Waldo Dude, for just beam attacking when I wanted to jump. <laughs> nah. So, uh, Soul is picking up what are called the switches in and around uh, the map here. These switches open up fast travel routes from all the different corners of the world map back to the hub. And we'll need almost all of them in order to route to all the goal game mirrors uh, we need to go to. And we start off this run with a very, very long split that I call the bingo split. Because when I do Kirby the Amazing Mirror bingos, generally you do a very long section where you set up all your like your fast travel and everything else you need to quickly do your other goals on your bingo card. And that's exactly what we're doing here. We're going around the horn, opening up quite a few switches for later in the run. And then we're going to end it at a goal mirror in the northwest of Rainbow Road. And uh, since there's an alternate path to the goal mirror through here, we won't do one of my favorite tricks you do 100%, <laughs> since we don't need the chest, but oh well. 
Yeah, as for these old games, they last anywhere from 5 to 15 seconds, depending on just which one you're doing. They are not randomized at all. That they're so, always the same time. <laughs> yeah, the the length, the duration of the goal game is the same every time. The items within them are not, but you're generally not dying in this game at all, so one-ups don't matter, and uh, it's very hard to miss enough food that you don't exit these mini games with full health anyways, so... The con and hitting the stone block obstacles in it doesn't slow you down either. So there's you can really just put the controller down, have a quick sip of water, reach at very streamer friendly compared to how fast paced this game is normally when you're doing any or 100 percent where it's just movement, 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 movement. So Soul, here's a quick anecdote you can possibly share. Why are why did you pick up this category in the first place? Yeah, so I have, on my channel, I have a challenge redeem, uh, and the short version is like, basically, like, hey, do this for me. Uh, so TG had uh, redeemed a challenge redeem to uh, go through this game and did a certain dole time. Um, I finally got that dole time yesterday, and a lot of it was very much wanting me to see just how this run actually was. And honestly, this run is really fun. Um, in fact, uh, you don't see Miss All that much in any percent, aside from, like, maybe one very small spot. Uh, but here's Miss All. It's, like, it's a lot like moving a marble. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I equate to using Missile in this game as... Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, uh, that tabletop game where you have to roll the marble by adjusting two knobs on a board, and you have to get the marble through, like, a goal. It's like, oh, I feel like not... I've seen. I feel like I've heard of it. Yeah, it's it, you're not steering the missile. You're steering the gravity of the missile. And uh, while that might seem weird, like understanding that can really help you uh, steer the missile around. And uh, it does. It is an ability that takes quite a bit of practice in order to uh, do effectively. But man, if you watch a high-level speedrunner at Kirby and the Amazing Mirror zoom around with missile, it, I don't know how it can't be your favorite ability in the game. <laughs> so the, the, the only thing it can't do is damage. <laughs> yeah. Especially in the US version, but good work chopping off bomb bar there. There's uh, one of the pretty much every goal mirror is covered by a mini boss, except for maybe like three of them. And uh, what's really cool is that the abilities these mini bosses give you um, can actually be used in the routing for later um, goal mirror gets. So we got missile from that bomb bar. So we're going to head back over and we're gonna head up the eastern peak of Mustard Mountain since that requires silver blocks in order to, or that requires us to break metal blocks to get up there. And a missile does that, and uh, we're gonna be keeping missile as long as, are we keeping missile for this? What's your route here? Uh, we keep it up until like near the end of it where we switch to stone. Okay, but are you doing moonlight after this? Uh, I am doing all of that after this. Okay, so you're, okay. So in some routes of this, you keep, uh, you do like a really stupid double star strat for this upcoming boxy strat, keep a hold of a missile through the mirror and then go do moonlight. But uh, we'll save that for a more degenerate run, I guess. It'll happen eventually, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, I first started running all goal games because of a runner named MK Cocoon, who did the first ever run of all goal games as a joke more than half a decade ago. And uh, for fun, I decided to optimize the route a little bit, and I quickly became my favorite category of Kirby the Amazing Mirror because all it was, you know, at the time I was getting very burnt out on any percent. I was losing a whole lot of runs to really annoying RNG stuff out of my hands as uh, most runners tend to do when they get to a really good time in this game. And it was just so nice playing a category that was just all about movements, you know, uh, saving all the tiny little frames and all the rooms and stuff. And uh, yeah. Ah, uh, I missigned it, that's fine. I Can I just say, TG, that is my favorite origin story of all time. As someone who got into speedrunning with extension categories, like learning about things like some of the Mario Odyssey extensions and Mila Percent and Hollow Knight, like You're absolutely, sure, right? absolutely mm -hmm. banger origin story. Um, so, okay, so that, so that was called Gobbler Wheel Mix, as it's known in the community. So we'll be doing another mix just like that later in this split. So how that happened was Soul did an air puff on one of the Foley's, the bomb enemies there. 
uh, got them close together, and then she did what's called a float cancel to cancel floating. And in this game, you can press A or up on the D-pad to begin to flying. But before you fully enter your fly state, you can interrupt that animation with your B button and anything that your B button could do. So whether that be an inhale or an ability usage. So not only do you get the little upward nudge from starting the float, you can cancel that upward nudge into an ability. It's how you get extra height off of wheel jumps, which is really, really super cool. And it's how you can do those uh, mid-air inhales on those two Foley enemies and get a little extra height and set up the mix for wheel, which is very easy. If bomb is the first ability that goes into your mouth, wheel is that first ability on that roulette mix. So all Soul had to do was just roll her fingers off of A and B to get that first ability slot. And now we're rolling our way to what I call all of beach. Hey, hey, Soul. Yeah. Uh, I would love if you could tell the people a little bit about that boss endurance run, because important update, we are less than a hundred dollars away from unlocking Ooh. that milestone. We are officially in race mode, gamers. Soul is absolutely crushing this all goal games run. So while the people uh, power us through with that last home stretch of donations, uh, what's your favorite part of boss endurance? So boss endurance, uh, short version, we're going to end up doing the bosses that we uh, are conveniently ignoring, but most of the run we use Smash. Uh, this game is actually where Smash Kirby kind of made its debut, kind of come from, Sma from Smash Bros. Melee at the time. So you got like the cutter, you got the stone, you got the hammer, uh, and on, and, and on bosses, it's just kind of chews them apart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the you've got down B with smash, which is stone, which is used in to annihilate bosses. Smash's hammer tends to deal more damage, and I think it actually does one more extra hit compared to regular hammer, even. Um, and again, like category extensions are cool when they do stuff that the regular categories don't. And pretty much boss endurance is an exhibition of what the smash ability uh, does in this game and uh how you can absolutely chew through bosses with it and a little bit of ufo at the end because uh ufo is just very 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 powerful uh and makes the final boss kind of a joke so this is pinball room uh some runners elect to just uh, eject their ability keep it in fat kirby uh what we call fat kirby is when kirby has something in his mouth you don't lose what's in your mouth when you get hit. So it's a very safe strategy you can use in uh, high danger rooms like that pinball room there. And it's just a nice safety marathon strat. Yeah, the, the fancy version is you just kind of keep wheeling, kind of work your way down. Unfortunately, it is easier said sometimes to actually pull it off. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. I I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all getting there. Anyway, speak, speaking of stuff for that incentive, if there's any messages, uh, we do have a good time for them right now. <laughs> yeah, we're just you... wheeling through Radish Ruins, so we got a bit of a journey to go to before we get to the next boxer that we have, or, yeah, boxer, boxy, there we go, that we have to defeat. Sounds we, we, good. We, we do have a boxer, but that's later. <laughs> Well, I have a $25 anonymous donation with no comment, but thank you so much that has pushed us over the $400 mark. So just 95 to go in order to meet that boss endurance run. That has also, it looks like, rocketed red into the lead for our It Takes Two Character Colors Bid War. Anonymous, oh, you are after my own heart with that. Um, but if you would like any of blue, green, orange, pink, or yellow uh, to get on the board in that donation, all of your donations that go towards that bid war also help us push that milestone for the boss endurance run at $500 total dollars raised for Alice's gender affirming surgeries. So thank you all so much. Team Orange, don't let me down. Orange is acceptable. It's it's discount hey, red. Fight I, me. Fight I me in the donation know, comments. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to get into a battle on this commentary, but here we are. I'm, I'm just going to say, uh, also for that boss endurance, I have uh, you have to have 100% for that, so I have all the sprays. Ooh. And I can... Uh, there, there's several colors. We have, we have stuff like ocean, which is like a very blue color, very nice. We have orange, even. Uh, which feels pretty relevant. We have <laughs> snow where we have like Kirby is white with like red feet. 
or or Torben if you uh are a normie. What? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Want people to be annoyed. <laughs> Going all the way back to my, like, childhood to call me out with that. Everybody likes carbon. You're not special. <laughs> Anyways, don't, don't leave me alone about it. I have very anyway, strong it... opinions, which I will attempt to rein in on this uh, on this charity stream. Anyways, we're, we're making our way back to Olive. Uh, and we're going to have the other myths that TG was saying about earlier. <laughs> Yeah, this is a really, really cool mix that you do in pretty much every category you go through here because there is a bomb block we can skip if we have an ability that can hit it through walls. And there's two abilities that can do the job. There's UFO, whose charged shot can go and hit that bomb block. And if you finagle yourself into the correct position, you can also use fire to hit the bomb block through the wall. Uh, and... Uh, Good news, those two abilities are right next to each other on the ability roulette, turning it from a four-frame trick into an eight-frame one. So the hardest part about this upcoming setup is, well, the setup. So we'll see if Soul can't do her magic here. Oh, one one. Early. That was real close. <laughs> so throw is one before UFO. Late on the inhale. A little later early again. on the inhale. Feel like a oh, casting early ball tournament. You know how it is sometimes that putter just doesn't want to work. That's too One early. We're, we're, we got the jitters. Don't worry. It's fine. There There's <laughs> UFO. Perfect. First try, every try. Every try. Exactly. First try. Exactly. First try. Uh, there's also sword. There's also doing this with sword, but that one's even harder to finagle because you have to call the Kirby's and then you have to wait for them to get themselves in a spot where you can actually use them as a platform. And that one's just kind of a pain in the butt. It's very RNG heavy. Uh, ideally, we don't want to be doing it. <laughs> no. But instead, uh, we can now just fly a UFO through the water, and uh, UFO is very good at just kind of getting around. Yeah, UFO is a very uh, versatile ability. You can just tap the B button for that beam shotgun, and then you have three levels of laser beam you can use, with the maximum level being a piercing shot that can go through the stage geometry as well. And uh, we're going to be seeing UFO uh, later if we meet that boss endurance goal to finish off Dark Mind. Yeah, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get to see what it does for damage, and by that I mean uh, you'll watch Dark Mind just kind of, uh, kind of just disintegrate. <laughs> just absolutely turn to dust. Just become one with soil. And we get rid of that one, because so far they will try to beam attack us, and we don't want that. So to continue on with my story about why all goal games and why would you want to purposefully go to the dead ends in a speedrun category, and I was talking about the, the movement earlier, and uh, I guess a downside of that is if you explain it to people, um, you know, oh, you go purposefully to the dead ends, and that's the speedrun. It's so hard to convince other people that this category is unironically one of the best that Kirby and the Amazing Mirror speedrunning has to offer. And that was the big reason why I challenged uh, Soul to um, a challenge run of this to get a specific time because I had the burden, the weight on my shoulders of just being so absolutely correct about this and everyone else being ignorant that I just needed an apostle to, to help me out spread the word. He, he kind of got it. <laughs> Let's get some love for extension categories. I love while we're in the home stretch here, I'm going to start a five dollar donation train. Tell me what your favorite extension is. Tell me what your favorite meme category in a video game is. I oh, absolutely geez. love the there, there's several. Wacky Even for Kirby, there's several for me. Yeah, there there are a bunch and they are invariably some of the coolest parts of speedrunning. No bias. So but let like me for know. Me, for me, that'd be like solo ability stuff. Like I'll, I've done a lot of solo ability runs in general. <laughs> I'll have to bring up my speedrun.com page to remind myself of category extension stuff I've ran. Do it. There's so there's so many good ones. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'll start with probably the one that 
effectively landed to my turn ended on my current brand and that is uh nightmare in dreamland bean percent uh oh, yeah. which is just which was very much a meme uh it's, it's what even. it sounds like <laughs> You go through the game with Beam. Uh, Beam is not very good. It does very low damage, um, but it but it has a white art, and it, I was the first one to manage to actually do it. Um, to the point that there was also a similar meme for this game. I managed it for this game, and uh, that got into uh, Memothon Strikes Back, I think, when Talithon was a thing. And uh, in fact, I was like, why don't I just make all the submissions beam only runs? And I was like, does this make me the beam queen? And uh, th that kind of just went from there. <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all like underwater travel. <laughs> all right, so we're heading through uh, Cabbage Cavern. We're heading to the Cabbage Map Split. Um, we're doing this wheelless. Uh, I've been I've been really trying to push Soul when she was learning this category to do this section with Wheel, but it is incredibly difficult. I had only learned it the last time I had visited this game myself, grinding 100%. But uh... I, I think the issue for me was uh, Battlefire was really slow with Wheel, and that's, that's what kind of deterred me. <laughs> well, I, I believe we also did the uh, the uh, Moonlight Mansion. Uh, segment at different times. Anyway. Yeah, so I think if I do a different route, it would actually be way better to use that one. Yeah, that's another amazing thing about Amazing Mirror, is that even in any percent, and especially 100%, and I guess also in uh, all goal games here, is that a lot of the speedruns are very modular because of the open world layout of the game, and it's not technically a Metroidvania game since you don't unlock any abilities to gain access to any part of the world. After you do that initial tutorial section, you can really go wherever you want. Um, yeah, the speedrun is very modular. You can really do, as long as you have, like, the prerequisites for, like, oh, you need to start the segment with this switch unlock, but other than that, you can do it at any point. You can really build and customize your run based on what areas you really want to get out of the way first, what areas you enjoy, and you can sort of build your own pacing. Some speedruns generally have problems with, you know, having all the hard tricks up front, and then, you know, you got, like, half an hour of doing nothing, and... Uh, that's just one really cool thing about speedrunning this game is that, uh, depending on, uh, how you like doing things, you can sort of tailor your experience and still not lose any time in your routing decisions. Yeah, like, for example, uh, like, T TG and Corpus Drive have, like, the two top runs for this, and their routes are very different between the two. <laughs> yeah, well, mine was done a couple of years ago. It's been a long time since I've actively ground this category down. Corpus Scribe uh beat my record by i think like an entire minute his run was absolutely fantastic and i advise you to uh look it up and uh watch it um but yeah just the amount that this category keeps swapping around and i still believe it can be optimized further by uh somebody wanting to make a name for themselves and so. oh i'm pretty i'm pretty sure this this run could be like easily like a 32 because i think corvus has like a low 33. yeah and Corvus also optimized the uh, a bunch of other category extensions. Is um, he spent a lot of time getting the no copy abilities run down? And uh, bless him, because I don't think anybody else would do that. I I've wanted, I've been wanting to try it, but uh, also, God, certain parts of that are not going to be fun. <laughs> the no copy abilities run for this game is so not fun. It it's just not fun. I'm. I'll just repeat the words not fun until we change the subject <laughs> and offer nobody else defense for the category. Yeah, you, so, yeah. you, should, you should totally try and be all only. <laughs> it, it's fun in, in very big quotation marks. <laughs> Have we had anyone send in their, uh, their favorite category extensions yet? I kind of really like that discourse. I, you know, I am all about that discourse. I can share it for if 
for all comfortable with it, the category that got me into speedrunning, and I'm not even Ooh. embarrassed to say it, is Go Super Mario Odyssey nipple percent. The category where you put Mario in his boxer shorts as fast as possible. You know what? Valid. I if you that have, news. <laughs> if you have a better category extension than that, I would love to hear about it in the donations. And uh, friends, we are coming up on the very end of the time here. Soul, how much would you say is left in this run? Uh, about honestly, less 90, than ten minutes. Maybe less about 10 than ten minutes. minutes. <laughs> it is go mode, chat. We got about ninety bucks to raise in order to see the boss endurance run at the end of this run so exclam donate in the chat i believe in each and every one of you and tell me that my opinions and meme categories are bad as an incidental bonus to raising some money for <laughs> alice bonus. i mean to be fair the the, the category that got me into running proper was, was no abilities in idol in nightmare in dreamland so i can't really speak on that one <laughs> Um, but when I came in, I was going to learn 80% because this was when, like, uh, Speed Demo's archive still kind of did stuff. And one of the days for that was, was Nightmare in Dreamland 80%. So I was like, okay, I'll, go, I'll join it. I'll learn it. And then uh, I saw the chat and somebody talked about no abilities. I tried that and then I grind, grinded that one instead. <laughs> it's Flosky fight, by the way. That Flosky can put up a bit Oh, that of, was a uh, very, yeah, that was annoyance. a very clean fight. <laughs> Yeah, that one likes to kind of hang out near the, near the little cubby hole, and so sometimes you're just kind of forced to go back and forth there. <laughs> so, Soul, Amazing Mirror is not your main Kirby game, but uh, before this, you were grinding down any percent for like, quite a bit. What was your? What did you end up getting in any percent again? Oh, geez, I actually just get offhand. Okay, well, uh, the question I want to ask is... I know it's not sub-30, though. It's like a, I think it's like a 31. Mm -hmm. So, what... Do you what do you think is better the the movement here or do you prefer a category that does something more standard and uh, fights the bosses and stuff? Honestly, I kind of like this more in some respects. Uh, mostly because honestly, like the, the thing that will very quickly attach me to a speed run is if if the movement's really good, and I start just kind of like doing that movement casually. If I'm doing that, I'm probably gonna end up wanting to speed run it. <laughs> Gonna gonna interrupt you here. I love this double star setup. So you eject your ability. Uh, you set up the double star there. You purposefully get attacked by Box Boxer, and then because Box Boxer is moving away from you after the grab to get space, your double star will hit them twice and just delete them from your server. It's great. It, it yeah, and also Box Boxer otherwise is a giant pain in the butt. Oh, nobody yeah. likes them. <laughs> Yeah, every single time you encounter a box boxer in a speed run, you will have a setup to just annihilate him because fighting him straight up in an honorable duel is not only annoying, it's also Wait, very that's smart. Door. There we go. Now we're in the right door. And that's why we didn't just get rid of wheel. We didn't just grab it right there. Uh, Episode? don't... Yeah. Okay, the thing fine. <laughs> I love so like even from a this run is cool and you should do it anyways perspective, I genuinely think that running all ghoul games just makes you better at speed running this game if you ever dip your toes into trying to make this pink little punk go as fast as possible. Because apparently this is the punk block. <laughs> yes, good, it's but, catching it's, on. It's, it's, <laughs> well, you know, you know what? Nah, Kirby is totally punch. A hundred percent. Like, have you seen Kirby's Niddle Sprite for Mike? That is the most punk sprite I think I've ever seen in my life. And I've lived a long life. And if not that, just look at some of the old commercials for, for the games. Uh, so, some of those are de definitely would uh, potentially qualify. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, when but you're... Oh, sorry. Go on, you're on. You're dead. Yeah, Go like, on. So when you're speedrunning Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, it's so easy to get hyper fo focused on, you know, all the the mix setups are what's important. Oh, getting good boss RNG is what's so important. But when you do a speedrun like uh, all goal games here, which is predominantly all about movement and you know doing these rooms as flawlessly as possible, it really puts into perspective just how much time you can save and lose in each of these rooms where you think nothing else is going on. 
Like, again, with the- a lot of it is hit lag and just avoiding enemies, but a lot of it is also, um... Oh, here's a really great, uh, routing thing. So there's a cutter enemy. I'll finish my thought in just a moment. There's a cutter enemy that we'll need in order to cut a rope to this next goal game. And, uh, thankfully, one is provided for us in this room, and we can go down this alternate path. But... Yeah, I, I, and honestly, Kirby the Amazing Mirror has really opened my eyes to how I look at what I need to practice when it comes to other kids. Yeah, no, one off. That's why uh, the demon decided to let me try it. <laughs> there we go. There's wheel. I love that mix setup. Again, I love this category because you do stuff you don't do in any other category. Mixing off that pangy and that, please. Uh, uh, Fan -fan, please. Oh my god, this elephant. But Fan fans I, mean sometimes. <laughs> but just all gold games in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror speedrun in general really opened my eyes to how much just improving your general movement, regardless of your speed game, can really uh, up your game. And again, it's so easy for newer speedrunners of any game to really focus on, okay, these are the hard tricks if there's glitches, or here's the hard parts of the run if it's just like sort of a glitch list, just playing the game well. And you're just day-to-day -day boring movement. Can, you can very easily gloss over it and take it for granted, but there's, you can, there's so many minutes in those seconds, I'm telling you. And uh, I think I've just become a better speedrunner just having... Uh, just like watching back, being a lot more analytical on the movement and realizing, oh, I'm wasting like a lot of time here. Yeah, and I've definitely been there with, with several ones, especially this one with Wheel, because uh, we mentioned this way early on about the, the whole hit light thing. You'd be surprised at how much hit light you can actually encounter if you're just, if you're not really thinking about how you're doing going about it. Oh, nice and, and sometimes there. Yeah, I... I that took me a while to figure out how to do. I was like, this, I keep getting hit here. What am I doing wrong? And then I just kind of do that casually. I'm like, oh, that's what uh, I need to do. The big thing to know is that the first frame you input a turn, you are no longer able to bonk off walls. Uh, but you also crawl to a halt, like not immediately. So all you need to do is just before you hit the wall, just tap the opposite direction and you should just go down the hole perfectly. I'm, I'm, it's always annoying offering advice when you're like quite good at the game because you're like, oh, this is easy. As long as it should just be as easy as this. And then when you see somebody who is not in your position try and do that, you're just like, oh, right, I need to temper my expectations quite a bit. And by, by the way, we're actually very quickly coming up on the end of this. We have like yeah. maybe a minute, le may uh, maybe a minute left or two. Uh, yeah. So we if we're going to get that boss endurance, you kind of need to do it now. Whoa. Now is the time. I have a $5 donation from the Valiant Sun who says, may I propose underwear soup percent from Stardew Valley? Put the mayor's shorts in the luau soup as fast as possible. That's a I, banger. I love that dumb game. <laughs> that, Just the that God, that's up there with drink mayonnaise percent. <laughs> Mayo percent is iconic. Yeah. All right, so our final boss of all goal games is Bonkers. And um... that was a bad, that was a bad bit there. But that's fine. So what is your what's your strategy for beating Bonkers here? Because I do the double star YOLO. For I I've done crap. I've done that. Um, honestly, yeah, okay, for me, it's a little it more consistent. Yeah, it's more consistent to just use fire. But you do there that. Fire, fire actually like chews through things surprisingly fast, also. <laughs> and time will be on the final notes of the dance celebration. So we got a little bit of time. Uh, obviously, shout out to TG because uh, honestly, you went above and beyond the commentary. Thank you, seriously. No problem. Uh, also, shout out to the Kirby community because community in general is just very good. Final Lots dance. of good people in it. Also the dance. Time! And, and then you're just spat out here. Yep. Th there's that door. We did nothing with it whatsoever. <laughs> oh, also, I see Shots is shrined it over that last minute. Boss Endurance Snipe. But yeah, uh, just let me finish the shout outs at the very least, so... Yeah, shout out to the community. Lots of good people. Lots of good runners. If you want to learn this game, uh, there's 
Try to see that to help you. I know TG can also uh, teach you quite a bit about it. In fact, TG is probably one of the better, te one of the best teachers for the game. Uh, we also have a wiki for, uh, for I think it's Kirby dot speedrun. Um, so most of our stuff has its way over there. <laughs> uh, like we have a good tutorial for the for eighty percent. Uh, Gold Games doesn't have one. Maybe that should be fixed someday. <laughs> uh, what was the final time? Uh, for me, it is uh, so 30 to 37 real time, but with since this is on the Switch, that would be like a 36 for, uh, 48. All right. Yeah, it looks so like not, not the timer too bad. is showing 36 34. GG. We, we did have that droppy mishap. Yeah, that, that droppy mishap was, was real bad, plus the uh, the myths in Olive. Yeah. <laughs> KirbySpeedrun.com, thank you. Uh, thank you, Shasta, that I did have it wrong. <laughs> such an amazing website like everyone went above and beyond not only that but it's also a giant collaboration not only with the uh english speaking uh kirby speedrunning community but also the the huge japanese kirby speedrunning community as well and it's truly truly like an international effort and it's it's so cool when uh communities get together and uh you know get resources together and try and help each other out as much as possible like that uh, but yeah, I guess uh, but we'll call we'll call this on the uh, milestone. Did we did we reach it? Or are you doing boss endurance? I believe boss endurance is going to be left as an exercise to the viewer. But thank you so much, everyone. We have that's, raised four hundred and ten dollars so far for yes. Alice's gender affirming care. And uh, the marathon is just getting started, so do not remotely lose any momentum. But Sol, tell the people where they can find you and what of you're course. up to. Of uh, course, you can find me at twitch.tv slash beamqueensoul. I, I do a lot of Kirby speedruns. Um, I've been doing other platformers as well, though. I've kind of been dabbling here and there. I've done a little bit of like Sonic Adventure at one point. I've done like Lunistis, stuff like that. Um, I also do casual things through a pretty big queue and also challenge runs uh, such as this one that TG redeemed. So you want to see me do something all, like kind of different from the norm, like that there's a way to do it. <laughs> yeah, before this, Soul's previous challenge run was a very difficult time in VVVVVV Any% percent, which I really enjoyed watching her tackle. Yeah, it, th that one's also a, a good one, but then that time was, has not been the easiest <laughs> one day <laughs> yeah and i've been tg you can find me at twitch.tv slash hey i'm tg i'm currently up to uh utterly annihilating the mad world for the wii world record any percent that's been sort of my uh project game over there huge viewer discretion advised when you tune in though that game is not for the faint of heart it, it and... is a very very interesting and over the top run though <laughs> <laughs> and i'm also up to a lot of other weird like community events i guess you could call it um like the stock car role playing game league the totally normal football league and i'm just putting into pre-production the min max wrestling federation it's a it's a hoot and a holler so uh give us both some follows we're great content here on this yeah internet. yeah we definitely <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you both so much. And chat, please make some noise one more time for all goal games in Kirby and the amazing Mirror. And make some noise for meme speed runs in general, category extensions, unconventional speed runs, all of the amazing things that are not simply beating the game as fast as possible. That is absolutely where my heart lies. All right, friends, with that, we are going to get set up in just a little bit here for continuing the punk block because no one has yet told me the punk block has stopped. Uh, we are going to be setting up in just a moment for It Takes Two uh, featuring Argos and Demon Weave. Uh, right now, there is still, for a few more precious moments, a color bid war for the characters in that game. Right now, red is in the lead, uh, but it's only a lead of about uh, 15 to 20 dollars. So you can absolutely be the deciding factor. Uh, right now, the leader is red with 25 total on it. 
I believe in your ability to influence what is going on. This is also going to be a bit of an intermission from me. We're going to be swapping uh, hosts in a little bit and then swapping back for the afternoon. Uh, but we're going to get set up for that. It takes to run, so don't go anywhere. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Running Through Wonderland, a mutual aid marathon raising money for Alice at Wonderland Games gender-affirming surgery. As our first afternoon segues into our first evening, so too must our host segue. I am going to be signing off for right now, but I am delighted to introduce you to the inimitable Chibi Carrera, who's going to be your host for It Takes Two. Rara, tell the people what's good. Thank you so much, Quacksilver. Man, there are a lot of things that are good right now. I don't know about y'all. Hey, everybody, I'm Chibi Carrera, and I'm going to be your host for this next upcoming game, It Takes Two. I am super excited to be here hosting for Running Through Wonderland. This is an absolutely fantastic cause. We have so far, if you can believe it, which of course you do because you're amazing. We have so far raised $455 towards Alice's gender affirming care, which is absolutely fantastic and it blows my mind. Did y'all know that every single major medical organization, including the American Academy of Pediatrics, the American Medical Association, and the American Psychiatric Association, supports the provision of age-appropriate gender-affirming care for transgender and non-binary people. These organizations represent millions of doctors, researchers, and mental health professionals in the United States. All of your money is going towards this gender-affirming care, this gender-affirming surgery for our friend Alice. And thank you so much for all the donations that have come through so far, including this $45 that just came through from Mr. Shasta. They said, I'll still contribute my half towards Boss Endurance, even if it wasn't met in the end. Everyone deserves to live their truth. Less than three. Thank you so much for that beautiful donation. I saw you talking in the chat about uh, splitting the, uh, the $90 that we needed in halvesies. So thank you for putting that towards anyway. We really appreciate it. 
we are getting set up for our next round of It Takes Two. And quick reminder, we have a bid war for that that is closing very, very shortly. With your donations, you get to choose what character the colors are going to be. Last I heard, red was in the lead, but it looks like blue has taken first place with $50. Red is at second place with 25 and white is at seven. So personally, red is my favorite color. I would love to see that one win if anyone wants to get a last second snipe in on that. Or my other favorite color is pink. And I think pink would be just beautiful if we could get that. All right, folks, we'll be back in just a short moment while we finish getting that run set up. And I will see you soon for It Takes Two. All right, folks, th folks, thank you so much for your patience. This is Running Through Wonderland, and I'm Chibi Carrera, your current host. This is a speed running marathon for mutual aid, benefiting our friend Alice as she prepares for gender affirming surgery in February 2025. We will be live on this channel every day from Wednesday, October 16th through Sunday, October 20th. Stay tuned to see some amazing runs. If you'd like to see our full schedule, you can type exclamation point schedule in the chat and i have seen some people talking about how stacked our schedule is and they are so right even just for today absolutely amazing runs coming up so we have it takes two which is coming up next and then of course after that we will be watching enter the gungeon And when that is all set, we will be experiencing the amazing run of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And then to finish out the night for us, we'll have Metroid Prime 1 and 2. This is a multi-world randomizer. So make sure that you stay tuned because you definitely don't want to be missing any of that.
Okay, chat, we will be back in just one short moment with the It Takes Two run. Don't forget to donate towards that bid war. Try to get your favorite color in so you can watch your favorite color running around the screen the whole time. We'll be back in one short moment. Thank you so much. <laughs> 